It's 5.30. I'm gonna call this special meeting of uh, council to order at 5.30. And it is a special meeting of council called uh, actually for a purpose of um, going into a closed session, uh, the purpose of which will be outlined in the motion that we uh, pass that uh, later on in the agenda. But we have a couple of other uh, housekeeping items that we're gonna deal with here uh, tonight in this special meeting of council to uh, enable the staff to get some uh, tenders out a little bit early. So I'm going to ask for an amendment to the agenda and uh, I'm gonna ask that we add item six or replace item six with the mayor's report. And then all other items underneath that will be renumbered on down to closed session will be number seven and then the report out will be number eight. And I'll do the mayor's report towards the end of this meeting uh, because I may get called away from the uh, next meeting a little bit early. So uh, with those few uh, words, I'm looking for a motion to approve the agenda as amended with the addition of item six, the mayor's report. Do I have a mover, please? Yes, you do, Mr. Mayor. And it's moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Dillebois that Municipal Council approves the agenda as amended. Okay, and I'm just gonna to add to that, add item six, Mayor's report. And I'm gonna call the question on the motion, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, motion is carried, thank you. And so now I'm moving then to item number three on the agenda, which is disclosure of pecuniary interest and the general nature thereof. Are there any disclosures of pecuniary interest? None. None. Uh, so now I'm at item number four, which is action and information items. And the first uh, is item number 4A, which is the winter sand supply tender award. Now, uh, there is a briefing note uh, here with this item uh, and the staff has outlined the tender process and the results of that tender process. And there is a recommendation accompanying the briefing note. Um, first of all, is there any discussion with anything uh, in the briefing note? If there's no discussion with anything in the briefing note, the chair is looking for a mover to bring forward the recommendation. Yes, Mr. Mayor, it's moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Hunter, that Municipal Council, one, award the Winter Sand Tender ECPW-2107 to G. Tackaberry and Sons Construction Limited at the price of $15.74 per metric ton, and two, authorize staff to execute the necessary contract documents. Okay, so the motion is slightly different than the recommendation on my sheet, but is congruent. Uh, so um, is, there any, is there any discussion on the motion before the chair? Councillor Hunter, or excuse me, Councillor Dillabaugh. Uh, that's fine, thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, yes, I just want to get it clear, clarified that it would be the total tender of $51,942. Uh, well, I believe that if I read the briefing note collect, correct, uh, they're going to start by asking uh, for a delivery of so many tons and then uh, after that, another additional number of tons. Now, uh, maybe Mr. Shaw, you'd like to elaborate on that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, it's just in case that we don't use that much sand, it's uh, up to a limit uh, to add an additional 500 uh, metric tons, which would bring up the total of 3,300 tons. And that total of 3,300 would be the 51,942? Correct. Okay, so if you don't add the additional, it's the smaller total. Correct. Does that answer your question, Councillor? Perfect, thank you. Are there any other questions? I'm here. Now, I'm about to call the question on the motion. Those in favor? Aye. The motion is carried, thank you. So that tender can be released. And then I'm turning now then to item number 4B. Uh, which is the 2021 hard top surface patching request for quotations. And again, there's a briefing note in front of you indicating the locations and the uh, rough square meterage of uh, 
hard top patching that the staff is proposing to have done. And uh, so before I call for the a vote uh, for a, a mover on the recommendation, are there any questions with the briefing though? Yes. Councillor Cameron. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Through you to uh, staff, um, Adelaide Street, very first one, location, uh, southwest corner of Walker and uh, in Cardinal. I have a feeling that I checked out the southwest corner of Walker Street and, uh, and Adelaide, and it does not need uh, any, uh, any uh, hard top or hard top surface in any way, shape, or form. However, on the west side of Adelaide Street, um, just before number 17, there has been a spot that needs to be paved. Are we getting that mixed up or is this uh, is this something different? So is, is there a possibility that there's a, just an error in the description here? Mr. Shaw, um, through the chair, that basically this this area was located on the west side of, of Walker on Adelaide. There's a cracking section there that's uh, spider web and so forth that was runs uh, well, 15 meters um, close to the curb on Adelaide itself is what we were looking at. So it would be the uh, well. So well, my, sorry, I I I guess I didn't. Uh, I didn't get out of the car to walk around the area, but I didn't certainly notice it from a car, but the one on the west side of Adelaide Street, or I should say on the west side of Shanley Road, near number 17, I mean, that's a terrible bump there. And, uh, and, and there's, a, there's a catch basin in, in the middle of it. If anything needs done before, before this one, that sure does. But on the other hand, perhaps it's scheduled for another time. Could you fill me in on that? There is room within the budget for additional, and I believe in the recommendation it mentions that uh, authorized director of operations to execute the contract document also um, to leave, leave some room. Uh, there was $100,000 that was put in for the patching. So this hasn't filled that amount. So if council would like additional spots looked at, we can definitely look at them. Well, that, 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 this particular spot has been there all summer. So it, it, it is somewhat, uh, I, I think, somewhat of a priority. Um, however, uh, I'm I'm prepared to, to let staff make that decision. But just bringing this to your attention, that something something is, I don't know. I just didn't recognize the practice. Agent one being sufficient. My apologies to me, Mr. Shaw, through the chair, Councilor Cameron. Um, there also is on as we know on 30, 30 Avenue. There's a catch base in there that's dug up and uh, is, is listed on the patch. Now, is that on um, is that on the west side of uh, Shanley Road, uh, number thirty, off the top of my head? I know there was a cut right across the road there. Because I'm not sure if the west side uh, the west side of Adelaide goes to number thirty. It could very well be. I'm just familiar with the. Uh, with the area to the uh, from uh, well, just partly down uh, Adelaide Street to the west. So, um, how, how did these locations come forward? Um, um, some of them are, are because they, we have road cuts for laterals. Others are repairs to catch basins. Uh, some are just uh, spots of uh, there's the spider webbing so bad that it just not crack seals, it's not practical. So we put a hot patch on them, um, skins, um, those type of things. Do you personally visit each of these locations? I have been to each of those locations. So I'm just wondering if there's a, a an error in the in maybe the descriptor here. Uh, is there any? Do you uh, when you when you visit these locations, do you mark them in any way with red paint or something so that because I, I, the reason I asked that question is because the bidders, I see there's only one bidder here, but the bidders, um, do the bidders not visit each of these sites too before giving us a price or do they just work by the, by the text description? Um, I can't speak specifically for, the, for them. I don't know. Uh, we just give them a rough area and I, I assume they do. Some have said that they do and others don't. 
So sure. mandatory site visits are not required here. It, it was not required, but the dimensions are, are rough dimensions, basically um, of, uh, of uh, the areas that we've been looking at. So, um, okay, so to go ahead, just, just one more thing. I do see the 30 Adelaide Street here. Um, I'm not 100% sure that that, now this, to your, to your memory, does that go right across the road? Yes, I believe so. Okay, that may be the one I'm referring to. I believe so. Because I know seven, number 17 is on the south, but it's the south of Adelaide Street, yeah. but it's a little bit west. So the number on the north, north side could be the, the uh, could be number 30. I, 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 I apologize for that. So anyway, um, as long as, long as what does skin mean? Where it says skin, it's a top coat basically. They just put a hot patch right over top. Oh, okay. typically it's an alligator. Oh, okay. You get that alligator type cracking the road or, or really bad uh, spider webbing, and they just put a skin right over top of it. Okay, it seals it off, keeps the water, it stops it from getting potholes and so forth. Okay. okay, any further discussion on the briefing? No, I'll, I'll just leave that to staff yeah. to, uh, to attend to, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Okay, Councillor Hunter. I just have one question. You you got it in, in there on South Street in Spencerville, if you're uh, in the river up doing a skin coat over that. Do you really think a skin coat's going to hold up over that section and so bad many potholes and so many much fill put in there? there. Uh, through the chair. Um, yeah, basically. So we're putting the skin um, from the first um, storm manhole up the up the hill, up the street, yeah. to yeah. try and cover those uh, potholes spots because we have patched them multiple times and it seems to get pounded out of there. So uh, putting the skin on, we think we'll we'll uh, remedy that. We don't want to go to too much um, because down the road we could be looking at you know full street construction on some of those other yeah, streets exactly. after the other project. Full street construction sometimes, but the drainage down down cracked it down through there. But yeah. I just went, wondered, are, are we going to before the skin coated, are you going to make sure that that's well cold patched in those holes and cleaned out and well patched? Because if they're not well patched before they skin coated, it's not going to hold any time. So. Okay. Uh, all right. If there's no more discussion, the chair is looking for a mover and a seconder to bring the recommendation before the chair. Looking for a mover. I got that, Mr. Mayor. Okay, go ahead. Uh, thank you. Moved by myself and second by Council Kevin Bestow, Council Award the Asphalt Repair and Paving, RFQ EC PW2106 to the Coco Paving Name, in an amount of $75,469.50, plus non rebated HST, and authorized director and operations to execute any contract documents. And who is the second member? Uh, Council King. Mr. Cameron. All right, the motion is uh, in front of the chair. Are there any further discussion? And hearing none, I'm going to call the question. Those in favor? Aye. Motion is carried. Thank you. And so that concludes the public portion of the agenda. Uh, are there any questions from any observers to the meeting? No, and I know Mr. Sheets is waiting in the wings. I'm just going to do a quick mayor's report. Uh, just a couple of things to report quickly. Uh, I've been approached by uh, Mr. Don Osborne, who's the uh, manager of the Price Point used car lot in Johnstown, owned by BD Dodge. Uh, they're holding an official opening on Saturday, September the 25th at 3. And uh, so he's invited me to be there to do a ribbon cutting. So <clears throat> later on this week, I'll have the, the clerk prepare a, a suitable scroll, but I wanted to invite all members of council to be present there uh, because I did ask them if there were any other uh, uh, invited dignitaries. I thought maybe he might have invited the MPP, but I don't know whether he has or not. He didn't indicate that to me at the time. So I told him that I would be extending the invitation to all members of council. And he'd certainly uh, like to see everyone there. Uh, now, on the second thing that I wanted to report just quickly, we have received confirmation from the Ministry of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade 
and Newmark that they will be here for the Cedar Grove Road uh, site visit on Thursday, October the 7th at 12.30, between 12.30 and 3.30 p.m. Now, uh, that notice came to us on either Saturday or Sunday afternoon uh, directly from the Ministry of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, uh, which to me is a very interesting development because it tells me that the, the ministry is working very closely with Newmark. And my understanding is that there will only be two people coming, one from the Ministry of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, and Mr. Greg Wassmandorf, the Senior Consulting uh, uh, Director of Newmark. Now, council, uh, council is already aware that that uh, between us and the United counties, we're arranging a helicopter tour of the site, and we're putting the final details together on what the total program of their time will look like. And uh, CAO Dave Grant and uh, Ann Weir from the Economic Development Department have been working on that today, and uh, I think we'll have that response letter ready to go out. Well, we have to have it to them by the 23rd, and I think we'll probably have it out tomorrow or the next day, and we'll make sure that account, uh, council gets copied. Now, one of the things that uh, has been determined today is that this is a technical meeting. Uh, Mr. Lee Sheets from Novatech will be there, as will Steve Pence, because uh, Ann Weir tells me that in her discussions uh, with uh, both Newmark and, um, and the ministry, they're going to be looking uh, to people who can provide them with answers to very detailed questions. So it's not a political meeting in any sense of the word. So my worry about having a number of mayors involved and having the warden involved, those worries all go away. That's not who they want to meet with. They want to meet with the technical people, but a major portion of their visit or another major uh, component of their visit is to assess and they don't say this in so many words, is to assess the capabilities of our staff and our council to be able to deliver on this kind of a major project. So I think when we show them the kinds of projects that we have been able to deliver on over a number of years, uh, that that will uh, gain us a certain amount of credibility and build their confidence that this council has the ability and this staff has the ability to make big things happen. And of course, it's needless to say, uh, the wild card in this whole process is Infrastructure Ontario. And I'll speak more about that uh, later at another meeting. I don't want to speak about that in public here right now. So that concludes my report. And I'm going to move on then with the next item on the agenda, which is the closed session. And uh, does someone have the motion to go into the closed I session? I move myself, second my deputy mayor, Disha. The municipal council proceeds into closed session 548 in order to address a matter pertaining to section 239 2i uh, trade secret or scientific technical commercial financial or labor relations information supplied in confidence to a municipality or local board which if disposed could reasonably be expected to prejudice significantly the comp competitive position or interfere significantly <clears throat> with the contractual or other negotiations of a person, group, or person that are organized specifically Greenfield Township Pumping Station. Thank you very much. And uh, calling the question going into closed session. Those in favor? Aye. Motion is carried. Thank you. And I guess. Move myself. Move myself, second by Deputy Mayor Dish out of the closed meeting. Municipal Council is now adjourned, and the open meeting does now resume at 6 12 p.m. Thank you. Good calling the question on the motion to arise. Those in favor? Aye. Uh, motion is carried. And so we're rising from the in camera session. I'll just do a quick report out from the in camera session. So, council met with the CAO and uh, our engineering firm, Mr. Lee from Novatac, to discuss a matter pertaining to the Greenfield uh, expansion. Uh, the very high quality product expansion and um, uh, how we might 
uh, go about providing them uh, with the additional water supply that they need, while at the same time maintaining uh, existing excess capacity for township other user uses. So that's the report out from the uh, closed session. And uh, is there a confirmatory bylaw? Yes, there is. And it's uh, moved by myself and seconded by Councilor Gillibaugh that a bylaw to adopt, confirm, and ratify matters dealt with by resolution be now passed, signed, sealed, and numbered 2021-55. Thank you very much. Those in favor? Aye. Motion is carried. Thank you. And now I'm looking for the motion to adjourn the special meeting of council held this 20th day of September. I have that one. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor John Hunter. The municipal council does now adjourn at 6.14 p.m. Thank you very much. Those in favor? Aye. The motion is carried. Thank you.